Um, I first like to begin by offering my condolences to the family, friends, and colleagues of those who were killed and injured on yesterday. Uh, I can't say enough about the seamless coordination of law enforcement, many of whom you will hear from this, eve, uh, this morning. We have joined in us Chief Rodney Bryant from the Atlanta Police Department, Deputy Chief Charles Hampton from the Atlanta Police Department, Lieutenant Mark Riley from the Georgia State Patrol, Sheriff Frank Reynolds from the Cherokee County Sheriff's Office, Captain Jay Baker from Cherokee County Sheriff's Office, FBI Special Agent in Charge, Charles Hacker, Kurt Erskine, Acting U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Georgia. You won't hear from all of them, but you will hear from some of them this morning to provide additional details. Uh, yesterday was a tragic day uh, across our state. Um, as many of you all know, there were several victims um, who were tragically killed on yesterday, and our thoughts and prayers remain with those families. Uh, whether it's senseless violence that we've seen play out in our streets, or more targeted violence like we saw on yesterday, a crime against any community is a crime against us all. I've been in contact uh, with the White House. I uh, spoke with someone last night, and again this morning, um, of course, President Biden uh, offers his full support and concern uh, to our great state. And the White House has offered to support us with any additional resources and support that we need as we continue, not just this investigation, but as we continue to deal with the spike in crime that we have seen since uh, this pandemic began. Again, the coordination of law enforcement um, was spectacular on yesterday. This was a tragic day with many victims, um, but thankfully the suspect was quickly apprehended. And as I was talking with special agent in charge, Chief Hacker, as we were coming in, uh, he was sharing that he's not had better coordination uh, with the Atlanta Police Department than he has had as of late. And certainly we thank the State Patrol, uh, Cherokee County, and I believe it was Chris County, um, where the suspect was apprehended, and all of our partners and stakeholders throughout the state who assisted with this the apprehension of this suspect. I will now turn it over to Chief Bryant uh, to share additional information, and we will hear uh, from our other law enforcement representatives to share more details on what happened on yesterday and where we stand today. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, we will present in the order of, in a chronological order so that we can better inform you on how things played out. So we'll start off uh, with Sheriff from Cherokee County, Sheriff Rums from Cherokee County, and then it will go to me. We both have uh, uh, our investigator leads that can go into more details as a result of what happened and what transpired through the investigation. I think that it's important that we first acknowledge the fact. Uh, I know that many, we've received a number of calls about is this a hate crime. We are still early in this investigation. Uh, so we cannot make that determination at this moment. Again, we are very early in this investigation. Even though we've made an arrest, uh, there's still a lot more work to be done. Uh, and so with that being said, I just wanted to make sure that uh, I know that that's going to be a concern and that you were probably asking that of many of us. Uh, we are just not there as of yet. Uh, again, so thank you all, and we'll start with uh, Sheriff Reynolds, Cherokee. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Mayor Bottoms. Um, so we got a call about 4.55 uh, yesterday afternoon of uh, shooting uh, in the Bells Ferry 92 area of southwest Cherokee County. Our, our deputies responded and found uh, multiple gunshot victims. Um, we were able to quickly identify a potential subject from video footage. Uh, 
Um, Captain Jay Baker is here with me. He's going to be able to answer some questions as well. We were able to put that out on our social media. Uh, shortly thereafter, we were contacted by uh, members of her family, uh, uh, indicating that that may be their, their uh, son. And uh, so we met with them. And uh, I was there uh, speaking with the family. They're very distraught. Uh, uh, and um, they were very helpful in, uh, in this apprehension. Um, we were able to track his phone. Uh, sheriff Billy Hancock from Crisp County is a, uh, a fellow sheriff and good friend of mine. Uh, I reached out to him, uh, anticipating the, uh, the movement into his county. He was able to coordinate with the Georgia State Patrol and set up a, uh, a position to intercept our suspect. And uh, that's precisely the thing, what they did, uh, a coordinated effort. Uh, sheriff um, Hancock uh, uh, coordinated with the Georgia State Patrol to quickly uh, hit the vehicle in order to prevent a, a, a pursuit. Um, I'd, I'd like to echo the mayor and the, uh, the chief in that uh, it was uh, a lot of collaboration between uh, our police departments, the sheriff's office, and the FBI. FBI has been fantastic. They always are. Uh, anything that we needed, uh, they were there throughout the night. Um, in our community, I mean, we're mostly a bedroom community, and uh, and I think last year we had one murder. Uh, we don't have a lot of crime in that area, so this is a shock to to all of us. Um, uh, Captain, am I missing anything? You may talk about some of the numbers you made. Uh, he, we did interview him last night. He is currently in our facility at the Cherokee County Adult Detention Center. Uh, we were able to interview him uh, with the Atlanta Police Department and FBI. Um, he made mm -hmm. indica uh, indicators that uh, uh, he has uh, some, some issues, uh, potentially uh, sexual addiction, and um, uh, may have frequented some of these places in the past. And um, but as Chief had indicated, it's still early on. We still have a lot of uh, uh, things to process, and um, so uh, he should be at an arraignment tomorrow at some time early uh, morning uh, uh, to uh, late morning, and we will keep you up to date. We have a press release that Captain Baker has put together, uh, available to our, our media folks. Uh, if you don't have that, I think we have some print copies that he will be uh, happy to give to you. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Sheriff, sure. so are you saying, when you talk to the suspect, he says he has a sexual addiction, addiction issue, but I'm sure you asked him, was this racially motivated? Was this racially motivated? Um, as the chief indicated, uh, it's still early, but uh, the indicators right now are, uh, uh, it, it may not be. Uh, it may be targets of opportunity. Uh, again, we, are, we believe that he frequented these places in the past. And, um, and uh, may have been lashing out, uh, and part of that is, is in your media packet as well. But the more uh, very a sexual addiction issue AM, rather than a, a, a racial profile. Uh, uh, it, during our interviews, uh, we asked that specific question, and uh, and that did not appear to be uh, the motive. For, we want to hold all questions to the end, please. Let us get through the press conference, and then we'll answer any questions. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll turn it over to 